Just weeks before Christmas, one Springfield family is facing an unimaginable tragedy. Thank you for joining us on Western Mass News 11 at 11. I'm Matt Satilli. That family's 16-year-old child, Alex Angelis Medina, was killed while crossing the street after school. It's a story you'll only see here on Western Mass News, and Western Mass News reporter Stacy Sirkashoon joins us live in studio after speaking exclusively with the family who remembers Medina's bright spirit. Stacy, Matt, I sat down with Alex Angelis Medina's parents tonight. And today was the first day they were able to stop by her memorial. They tell me they could have never imagined their incredibly talented daughter's life would be cut so short. People call her the life of the party. She always loved making everybody laugh. Sir Angel Ayala and Alex Medina, the parents of Alex Angelis Medina, spoke exclusively to Western Mass News just days after their daughter was tragically killed Wednesday on State Street in Springfield. That's why it makes it even harder because she did the right thing. Why did it happen? Why? She didn't do the wrong thing. She didn't try to run a light, nothing. She crossed the street when she was supposed to. Her parents explained their daughter's love for art and what it meant to her. This was really just her hobby and her way of, you know, expressing herself and, and being who she is. She was also a great sister. They say her and her brother were inseparable. His wife mm -hmm. and his sisters would be there just watching over him, him on to be him and be proud of him. Day. Now, as they learn to navigate life without Alex Angeles, her family has ways they remember her bright energy. She wanted to change. She wanted to cause things. She wanted to show people that we don't have to hate each other or not like each other because we're different. We need to celebrate each other because we had differences. Alex Angelis' parents are demanding change from city leaders. Why didn't he see her? Why? What was he doing that he didn't see her? Like, and she was almost home. She, she was almost home. She was like two blocks away. They feel for anyone who witnessed the accident. Is this happened during school hours? We don't understand why there wasn't more crossing guards. Why professionals are supposed to be driving a vehicle that with has kids other in it? Her parents hope to turn their sadness into action. We don't have time for that. We are grateful to all the people who have been there, who are making awareness of this tragedy. So far, Alex Angelis' GoFundMe for her funeral expenses has raised more than six thousand dollars. Her parents tell Western Mass News that her services will be held this Thursday and Friday at the La Rosa Funeral Home in Holyoke, and they encourage anyone who knew and loved her to attend. Live in studio, Stacey Sergisoon for Western Mass News.